everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be looking at this and it's a new subscription box and it's an Umayi crate and this is made by Japan Crate. What it is, is it's a box full of instant noodles, you know those udon noodles? That's what this is. Let's have a look at what you get in this crate. Ooh, oh, oh that's a lot of noodles. <laughs> You can see all of the different kinds of noodles I've got here. There's like big old bowls of noodles and then there's also the ones like that. Wow! So this is the coloured brochure you get inside here. Welcome to the first Umai crate. Umai is another way of saying Oshi or delicious. I think I'm saying that wrong. Inside it's actually got the different noodles and what they're about. Masses and masses of noodles. And oh, there's something else in here. <gasps> Life's just gotten a whole lot better. Oh, that's so cute. Child learning chopsticks. I can actually use chopsticks. Oh, it also seems to have here, try it with, which is great because I always add things to my noodles. I always have. Now the first one I'm gonna try is this one here. Sopuro Ichiban Tonkot. Oh, really? We didn't expect me to get it right, did you? <laughs> so I'm making the Tonkotsu ones today. It gives you the instructions here. Two cups of boiling water. Plonk that in. I'm gonna add in the things that they suggested. So I'm gonna put some chicken in there. Scallions or spring onions as we call them here in Australia. And add a boiled egg. I oh, know that's not quite boiled. Something went wrong with it, but that's all right. It'll cook itself in the heat there. Turn off the heat and add the soup base. Yes. Put that in. Notice I have got my udon pants on today. They're, they're pants I wear when I'm really having a lazy day and I just want to eat instant noodles. Although I do love the idea that they suggest all of these things that you can put in there. Oh! Oh, yum! The flavour of it is actually really salty. I can't really pinpoint what it is because I put the chicken in there, but it's something that does go perfectly with chicken. I really love the suggestions of stuff that they got me to put in there because it actually really works nicely. Yeah, oh jeez, burnt myself. <laughs> Something about eating these noodles is really comforting and this is going to sound really weird but I'm going to say it anyway because really do I care about saying weird things? No, obviously not. It kind of feels like home. <laughs> I know, <laughs> Japanese noodles feels like home for me. But that is really delicious. I am absolutely loving this, delicious. So today I'm trying these noodles and it's an either or situation here. Oh gosh, I don't know which one I've got. Udon offers thick noodles in rich dashi base broth, whatever dashi is. Dashi sounds like some sort of a hound. I've either got a kitsuni or a tanuki soba. I don't know. Now the suggestions for this one are scallions and fish cake, but who has fish cake sitting around the house? I don't. So let's just open this up. Got it. Ooh! What's that? It kind of smells like tofu. This actually has two little sections to it. That's powder and that's, I don't know. Let's pour it in and have a look. Ooh, it's a red powder. Now I add the boiling water and I cover it for five minutes. Oh, there's a line there which I fill it up to, I think. Oh, okay, cover it. So let's have a look. Ooh, sorry about this. I've got to do this for my Instagram account. I know, it looks stupid, doesn't it? The part I hate about YouTube, the promotion stuff, I suck at it. I think I'll use a fork today. Oh, goodness me! It's kind of like foam has been soaked in like a liquid and, and I've got to eat it. So they're quite thick looking noodles, as you can see. I think that this is tofu. Just gonna try and break it up with the chopsticks and the fork. You need tools for this one. Wow, what is this stuff, hey? <laughs> Wow, if I was to eat the mattress on my bed, pretty sure it'd be like that. I don't know, tofu is a bit of a hit and miss for me. Sometimes I like it, but other times I'm just like, it tastes like foam mattress. Not that I eat my foam mattress, but I did see a weird addiction show where someone was addicted to eating foam. But anyway, that's besides the points. What am I talking about? <laughs> ah. Mmm. There's another flavor in here which is really familiar and I just can't pinpoint. 
Mm. This thing is a little bit hard to pull apart. Oh, I don't know if you can see this tofu, but it's like it's been fried before it's been put in there. I do love my instant noodles. I think you could, oh goodness, I can just keep flicking liquid on myself. <laughs> I like the flavor in it. And I actually like the tofu in it now. Wow, hasn't my tune changed? <laughs> But see, that's why, I don't know why I'm stabbing it, but that's why you try things a couple of times because you don't know if you really like something until you give it a good old go. Today I'm going to be having these and they're Sapporo Ichiban Miso Ramen. The recommendation of things to put with this one is an egg and some corn and a pat of butter. And I, I don't know what sort of measurement that is. I'm not going to put an egg in it because it seems like they just want me to put an egg in everything and I just won't. But it actually does have it on the front of the cover here of different things you can put in there. Oh, I like the idea of putting those in there, those little sprouts, but I haven't got sprouts because sprouts go off within a minute of buying them. Two cups of water, pop that in. Here's my corn, it's frozen so I'm thinking I should put that in now. Could be a mistake, oh, well we'll find out. Okay so inside it's got noodles and a sachet. Oh yes, so that's the soup base there. Does that as well, original spice. My birds just started whistling. So these noodles go in for three minutes. Have fun. Powder number one goes in. I'm gonna put this in. Is that chilly? Ooh, it could be, maybe. Ooh, goodness, the lens is fogging up. This is not good, is it? Touch of butter in there. Whoops. I'm actually outside today. Oh goodness, my chair creaked, it was terrifying. I'm actually outside today because I wanted the natural sunlight to pick up all of my wrinkles so you can see how truly old I am. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, I don't know why I don't film outside more often. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm gonna have to go inside, that is ridiculous. Wow, it's really tasty. I love the delicate flavor of the miso through these noodles and the corn matches up beautifully in this. I'm glad I didn't put an egg in it. It would have been that step too far for me. I'm really enjoying the corn in it though. Now, I've actually never had miso ramen before. I've had miso soup, but I haven't had it like with noodles like this and it's really delicious. Love this one. Today I'm gonna to try these noodles and it's called spat. Just spat, I guess it's short for spaghetti. It kind of looks more like spaghetti than noodles, but noodles are spaghetti in the same thing. What am I saying? Uh, that's what it's called there if you want to read it because I'm not going to read it to you. It suggests here that you try it with bacon or shrimp and fresh basil. I'm going to put mine with shrimp and basil. Oops, open it up. What's happening? Oh, oh, look at that. Hmm. So I've got this chunk of spaghetti. Two sachets and some green stuff. So you fill it up with hot water, put everything in and let it sit for a minute. I should manage that. Dump those in. Oh yeah, that just feels like spaghetti. Put the two sachets in. Do you want to have a look? I do. Oh, doesn't really give us any answers, does it? <laughs> right, in that goes. Ooh, I didn't expect it to look like that. Okay, let's see what's in this one. What is it? Ooh, it's like oil. Oil, oil. In it goes. Do you know what that is? I don't. It smells like onions or eschalots. Let's whack those in. Oh, hello, who's the master chef? I've also cooked up these prawns in butter. Oh, sorry, shrimp for those if you want to call it shrimp. Someone said in the comments one that they hate the word prawns. Dump those in. And I've got some freshly chopped basil. Now it says just fill it up with water. So there's a line there. I'm going to do that. And then you cover that up and leave it for a minute. And now to the sad part of the video because I've just read the instructions and it says that I put the water in, then I drain it, and then I add the sauce and stuff. I feel like I'm the only person in the world that could get instant noodles wrong. <laughs> it's ironic because I can cook, but I can't make instant food. Sometimes I could just cry. Oh, look at that. It gives you a little thing so you can strain it out there. There goes all my flavor down the sink. See you later. Hopefully I haven't left too, lost too much of the flavor. You never know. So now I'm going to mix this up. Right. <gasps> wow. The spaghetti, the pasta is actually really al dente, which is nice. But one thing I will say about this, it is full, like packed full of garlic. I do like garlic, but I don't like to have a massive 
massive amount of it, but it's really nice with a basil through it. I really like the little specks of chili in it. That's a really nice touch to it. Very garlicky though. It has got a lot of flavor. It's quite tasty. Mm. The shrimp goes really nicely in this. I'd probably also add a little squish of lemon to make it really nice and fresh. Actually, the more I'm eating it, the more I'm actually enjoying it. I'm actually glad that I sort of rinsed off a little bit of that flavor as well because I reckon that flavor was just like full of garlic. If you're going on a date, make sure you get a big plate of noodles. Great, love it. I was not expecting like an Italian style noodle to be in this Japanese box, but here they are and they're actually good. Okay, so this is what I'm eating today. And this one is, does that say you dong flavor? What the is that? I'm just gonna add boiling water to these today. I don't feel like doing anything fancy. These ones are, wait, no. What, 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 what am I eating? I am so confused right now. I can't actually see this one listed on here. I'm guessing it's most similar to this one here. The one here says Paudo Kimchi Noodle Soup. Korean food has become a trend in Japan. Many Japanese love ramen, spicy sibling, ramyun. It's probably just the packaging looks different to the one. I don't really understand why mine's different. <laughs> it just is. Doesn't matter, I haven't had these before, so I'm gonna try them. Yudong flavor. Don't say anything, please. I've got two sachets also with this. One's a dehydrated vegetable thing and also a soup base. Ooh, it kind of smells like seafood. Like the stinky kind of seafood. That's ready. Pour it in my bowl. The smell of this one. It's really sea-ish. It might actually taste better than what it smells. Well, I'm hoping it does. <laughs> I don't really like the smell of it very much. Mm. Yeah, actually, the flavor isn't as strong as I thought it was gonna be. You, you can taste seafood in here, but it's not like a whole fish market or anything. Don't smell them, just don't smell them. If I'm not having a big whiffy whiffster of them, then I'm okay with it. But if I have a big sniff, then I'm a little bit... The de... Oopsie! So the dehydrated things in there are little bits of carrot, and there's also little bits of onions and shallots. So far, it's my least favorite. There's actually a slight little bit of spiciness to it as well. The taste of it is okay. I will definitely finish it, but not one I would necessarily get again. Today's a really exciting noodle day, as opposed to a boring noodle day, because I'm trying these ones, and there's a lot of movement going on in here. Also, this one says it's the Star Pick, and it's a, oh wow, I'm gonna try and say that. Wish me luck. Myojo Ipichan Yakisoba. Suggestions with this, it says try it with dried bonto flakes. Well, excuse my ignorance, but I don't know what bonto flakes are. What are they? I've probably eaten it before, but I probably just don't know what it, well, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I've gotten to this age in life and I, oh no, bonito flakes. See, I'm not even saying it right. Bits of pork. No, I, I don't want to try it with pork. But it does say here, stir fried vegetables. And that is something I do want to do. So these are the things I've chosen. I've got some shiitake mushrooms. Well, I guess I've got to cook these before I put it in it. I got this from my garden and that's got flowers in it. I thought, you know what? I want to eat some flowers today. Like not just any old flowers, these flowers. Because that's edible, isn't it? Well, it is now. Come foraging with me in the wild. We can taste test flowers. Some of us will die, some of us will live. Can you hear that bird? Put some oil in, put some onions in. I kind of feel like in some ways that I'm completely defeating the purpose of having instant noodles right now. <laughs> but as I said, I like to add things to my instant noodles. This has almost become like a cooking video. How did that happen? My greens in. Ah, oh, that looks silly. Let's rip it in half. Otherwise I'm gonna look like a cow eating that, aren't I? Let's put a little bit of soy sauce in. Wow, this really has become a cooking video. <laughs> Mushrooms. There are four sachets inside here. You didn't get to see me open it because I didn't hit record. Yeah, look at this mustard mayonnaise. That's interesting. And then there's got like a sauce. I'm guessing that's soy sauce. A spice thing. And dried vegetables, which I'm never really a fan of 
dried vegetables that you get and then you add water and then suddenly the vegetables are but anyway that's another story I've just peeled that back and I filled this up with water I'm waiting for three minutes see that line there oh that's where you fill it up to and you only peel this lid back to there I did it further see that don't do that wrong right now I've got to drain it out of here and there are so many warnings about how hot this is that I'm also slight now, oh, far out, my bird's going to whistle. Now I'm going to peel this off and drain it out. Now, there are so many warnings about how hot this is that now I'm terrified because I feel like I'm going to burn myself because of all the warnings. So I take this off. Sauce. Oh, there it is. Oh, actually, you know what? It doesn't smell like soy sauce. It kind of smells like teriyaki. Spice. The spice stuff just smells salty. Oh, it's green. That was unexpected. Dried vegetables. Oh gosh, do they have to go in? I guess so. Oh, no, 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 it's all right. I think they're just like onions. I can deal with that, that's okay. I'm gonna put my stir fried vegetables in. Wow, this is actually looking pretty good, isn't it? Mustard mayonnaise, that looks like something you probably shouldn't have on noodles, but hey, let's do it. I'm just gonna squishy squish that all over the top here. I'm not gonna mix it through. So this is the picture of their one, and there's my one. Some of you out there are probably getting sick of watching me eat noodles. Tough, really. It's good that I'm shooting these videos all around my house because then you can have a little bit of a nice buy in my place and be judging. It's pretty dirty right now. Don't look at it. Mm. Well, okay. I really like this one. So far, this is my favorite. I really like the mayonnaise on it too, that mustard mayonnaise stuff. It works really well with the noodles. The flavor of it, it isn't spicy or anything. It's got a nice sort of saltiness to it. A little bit like teriyaki sauce in a way. And it's really good with the vegetables all through it too. Whoa. The soba noodles are really tasty and al dente. Oh, it says here it's flavored with a Worcestershire type sauce. Oh yeah, that is Worcestershire. <laughs> what did I say it was? Who knows? Cabbage. Is that what those dried bits were? They were cabbage. Oh, oh I thought they were onion. So, yucky soba. Yes, love it. I would have to say that this is one of my favorite noodles out of the whole pack. Today is my last pack of noodles. I'm going to be having these ones. Sapporo Ichiban Shio Ramen. I've actually been taste testing these noodles over a course of weeks because there's no way I could eat that many instant noodles in one go. I'm not going to put anything with this one. I'll show you what you get in the pack. There you go. So they get noodles and two flavor sachets. That one's a soup base and that one's sesame oil. So here are my noodles. I said this was sesame oil, but it's actually sesame seeds. So put those on. I've left a little bit of the liquid in there because I like the thought of having soup with this one. I think you're supposed to leave a little bit of the liquid in this one. It smells pretty good. Mmm. It's really tasty, very salty. Like a lot of these instant noodles are very salty and that's probably why I like them. I probably shouldn't, but I do. It tastes a little bit like chicken. I think that's the go-to thing when you don't know what something really tastes like. Actually, I really like this one. Don't really notice the sesame seeds in there. They're floating around and hanging around on the noodles. It adds a little bit of something to it, I suppose. Come here, kissy, come here. You wanna say hey to everyone? You don't, do you? What do you think? She's got no interest in this whatsoever. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this umai crate i will leave a link below in the description to that website please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more i'll see you next time bye that was too early <laughs>